Okay, so I just picked up my Walmart uh, grocery order. Oh my gosh, look at my fa mask face. I just came off of work. I still have my apron on. And so it's not like a grocery grocery haul. It's part of my um, stockpile just in case just in case something happens again. So we're gonna head home now and I'll show you what I got. Before I go home, I'm picking up some Wendy's. And I'm not getting the Frosty. I have the house to myself. My husband and the kids went up to his mother's place. So my mother-in-law's with the boat and a bunch of friends and they're gonna be spending the day by the beach on the lake or wherever they are, I have no idea. So, I'm getting myself some takeout. I'm starving. I don't know why I had lunch. Around 2. It's 6.30 now. Maybe that's why. I've been at work. I'm hungry. And these cars are taking forever. Anyways. Definitely not getting a salad. I'm getting one of those guys. I haven't had Wendy's in a long time. It's finally our turn, I think. If I can drive. I got the strawberry lemonade, fries, and just the single burger with no pickles, no onions, and no cheese because I don't like onions or pickles on my burger. I don't like onions in general. So yeah, I'm just going to stick some YouTube on. Let's see. My dad is Get the ads. Oh, it's the wads. I love this lady. I never set the timer. How long do you think it's been? Anyways, I'm gonna eat now. Okay, so here is a quick overview. Some stuff on this side is not part of my stockpile. I guess I'll go through those first. I can put the stuff in the freezer away. We were out of onions. That's a huge one. Wow. That's a big onion. Um, the little guy likes kielbasa. It's fine, like some sort of meat that he actually likes to eat once in a while. Um, pizza pops for Ethan, uh, pepperoni bacon. Uh, this was a substitute. I ordered the strawberry banana, but they just did the fruit blend. What is this? Mango, peach, and strawberry. Oh, and pineapple. That's not bad. This page likes that, which is, so that's fine. Um, a red pepper, green pepper, and these are new. Oh, it even says new on there. Look at this. Hash brown waffles. When I do a breakfast, I'll film it and I'll let you guys see that. I'm so interested. They're like $2.79, just the same um, uh, price as regular french fries, and it's the Cavendish brand. So we'll see. I'm really excited to try this. <clears throat> and then for a little guy, hit snacks. The veggie straws. We just do the original. I don't want to try the different flavored ones just in case it doesn't like it and nobody will eat it or they won't like it. And just one pack of the sweet potato because I love the sweet potato ones in there. Okay, I'm just going to put the frozen stuff away and I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll start off on this end. Um, mashed potatoes in a box and they'll be good till April 21. So that's good for a while. Two muffin mixes, oatmeal chocolate chip, and a blueberry. I haven't used these in years. When I say years, like 10 years. I usually just make my own, but just to have on hand. And when are they good till? Oh, a year. That's good for that one. And then this one, same thing, March, so 21. That's good. And two boxes of turkey stuffing. When are these good till? Hmm. Do they do the year first or the date first? Because it's August 20th. That's weird. Is it the year? Like 21, August 20th? Or like in 20 days, August 20th? <laughs> right, let's check the other box that I have and see. I still haven't put these away. Okay, so it is the year first, because that can't be 2017. So 21, so the year goes first. Let's see if this is the same. Yeah. And I know I didn't buy these in two, before 2017, so that's good. All right. Yay, one year. 
um, crackers, just plain old crackers, two packages of breadcrumbs. What are the date on the crackers? Since I've been looking at the dates, might as well do them all. Crackers even have a date? Oh, till December. Oh, that's all right. And yeah, those crackers. I'm sure they're good till all the way to the back, way past then. 22. Awesome. So that's the same. 22. Okay. I like the panko ones. I don't know why. I don't like the Italian bread. Maybe because the kids don't like them. I don't like the seasoning on them. Anyways. Okay, some of these. The Shepherd. They have new packaging. Hmm. They do have new packaging. Do you want to see what the other packaging looks like? I think I showed you guys already. Do I have it out here? No. It's in this basket. So that's what they used to look like. I don't have the shepherd's pie one, the extra one, because I've already used it. So that's not bad. This is actually really good. Do these have dates? 22. Yeah, 22. And this is the home sale gravy. I used to buy like the turkey one or the chicken gravy or brown gravy, but we like this one the best. Well, I do. They don't really have any opinions on what kind of gravy I use. Anyways, crushed basil. This was supposed to be in a package like this. So I'm guessing they were out and this was a sub. Blockwoods. I don't know. It's in a jar. Nice glass jar too. I have a basil plant outside in the garden, but I don't know. It's not growing. Okay, ground ginger. Didn't we have a, gra a garlic powder? We did, didn't we, in that last haul I showed you? I don't know where it is. Garlic powder, so this is garlic, um, garlic. Crown ginger, um, this page again for that recipe. Italian seasoning, paprika, and some cinnamon. We are running, running low on cinnamon, but these, what are these good? 22, 22, 22, 22. All right, so these will just go in the stock pot. I will go to Bulk Barn to fill up my spice racks. If I need anything, I'm like right now I'm okay, but I'll do that another time. Not right now. Um, four uh, cans of tomato paste. This one is herb and spices, and this is just the plain tomato paste. Some diced tomatoes. I don't know why I picked the no added salt. I'm not sure if I did that or if they subbed it for this one. I have no idea. So three of those, they will go downstairs. What are they? 21. Okay. A year. Not bad. 21. They all the same? 21. And then these are on sale. The Catelli Garden Select Tomato Basil Pasta. It is chunky. I usually will put it in um, like my Hamilton Beach uh, blender because the kids don't like anything chunky in their pasta or meat sauce. And they are good till, what day is that? 22, all right, sounds good. Whoops, you guys can't see that anyways. So let's see if you can see that. Don't look at my nails. Yeah, 22. So that, those will all go downstairs in my stockpile. So that is it for my Walmart pickup for this portion of my preparing for another lockdown pile.